Hello! Today we're going to learn about apples. Can you say apple? Apple. Apple. We're going to take a look at different parts of an apple. There's a leaf, the stem, the flesh, the skin, the core, and the seeds. Now let's dive in on some apple learning. If you are, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Hands up high, touch the sky. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. In a snap, hands up front, then back in, ready to learn. Let's begin. All right, my friend, we're going to do some counting. We're going to count apples. Apples. Let's count our apples. Here we go. Are you ready? If you're ready too, Give me a thumbs up. All right. Let's see. We have one, two, three apples, four apples. Oh, there's another row. Five apples, six apples, and one more. What comes after six? Seven apples. Yay! Good job. Now, let's see how apples grow. First, they start off as a tree. The tree makes flowers. After the flowers are pollinated by a pollinator such as a bee, they produce a fruit. Then the fruit falls. Inside the fruit, there are seeds. The seeds then go into the soil or dirt and then they grow a new sprout, which will later become a tree to make more fruit or apples. Now let's head on over to the art studio to draw an apple. We're going to draw an apple. First, let's write the word apple. Apple starts with an A. Sound. So we're going to start with the letter A. We're going to write our capital letter A. Next are two P's. One line down, a line up, over, and connect. Another line down, around, and connect. Next is the L sound, and that sound, L, ap, ap, L, that's an L, E, L, E sound. Ap, L, ap, L, apple. Let's draw an, let's draw an apple. Let's draw one dot at the top, one dot at the bottom. We're 
We're gonna draw a line up and around and connect at the bottom dot. Up and around and connect at the bottom dot on the other side. Next, let's add a stem. Two lines down from the top. Connect the top with a short line. Let's add a leaf. So we'll draw one line going out from the stem. Let's add a zigzag line out to the top and back in. On the apple, let's make a base. Let's draw a line in the middle. Let's connect the bottom with the letter U shape or big curving line. From one corner down to the bottom, let's draw another curving line for the mouth. And then we can color in the dark of the mouth, leaving that tongue white for now. On either side of the mouth, Let's draw a circle, a circle, two circles to make two eyes. In each circle, let's draw a smaller circle. And let's color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles white. you're done drawing apple, you can grab your colors and color in your apple. And just like that, your apple drawing is done. Hello and welcome to Craft Corner. We're going to make our apple craft. We're going to need a piece of paper to draw our apple shape on, our scissors, and we're also going to need some scrap paper various different scrap papers that we're not uh, going to be using, something that might be dirty, anything that like that, little bits, could be wrapping paper, could be tissue, whatever is in a scrap paper bin. And we're going to use those, rip them up, and decorate our apple with it. All right, let's begin by grabbing our piece of paper, and we're going to draw an apple shape. So we're going to begin with one half of our apple, it's like a letter C. And then we're going to add another half of our apple at the top 
we're going to draw our rectangle to make the stem. And don't worry if you have any mistakes. So at the bottom, I have a mistake. That's okay because we're going to cut and glue our colors onto our apple. Let's first leave it like this. We're going to cut out our apple. So one hand to hold and one hand to cut. So our scissors are staying pointed away from us and this hand is turning the paper. Okay, cutting it out. So one, our hand, our scissor hand is not moving, it's just opening and closing. The other hand is doing the moving and it's helping us cut the paper. If we have lots of good bits that are still good, we're going to keep these and put them in our scrap paper bin. But something like this is too small so we can recycle it. Alright, we have our apple shape. Our apple shape. Next, we're going to get some apple colors. Or whatever colors you want. It could be any color. And we're just going to rip off some pieces from different sizes. I love ripping paper. Now we don't want too small because that might be hard to glue. We want various different sizes. And apples come in lots of different colors. I have lots of oranges and greens here, but apples come in red, red and green, lots of different colors. Or you might have any kinds of colors. Whatever you have in your scrap paper bin. Once we have our little pile of bits, we're ready to glue them on to our apple. There's my glue. It's hiding on me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll turn the knob at the bottom to get our glue stick to come up. We're gonna glue the back of our bit and place it on. Now, if it goes over the edge of the paper, no big deal. So right now it's kind of over the edge. We'll trim up our apples later, so don't worry. It's okay to have that too. And then we're gonna pick a different color. Glue that on to a different spot. Like that. And then we're gonna keep going gluing on different apple pieces onto our apple collage. This fun. I love making crafts. All right, once you've done with your glue, you push the lid back on. And here's my apple so far. But 
we need some trimming, so I'm going to turn it over to the other side so it makes it easier to see where the line is. So then we can just follow that line and trim off the edges to make our apple nice and crisp. And just like that, our Apple Craft collage is done. Hi, my friend. Thank you so much for learning with me today. I am so glad that you joined me. You made my heart full. I hope to see you in our next learning adventure together. Parents and teachers, for more art ideas for kids, visit artastickids.com. Or for teachers, you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below in the description of the video. See you next time.